हरे कृष्णा Suppose some kingdom has its headquarters and is surrounded by enemies from all sides. If that kingdom wants to defend itself, it will set its headquarters high up on some fort. By that, even if the invaders come, they have to struggle to climb up the fort. And by the time they reach, they will already be exhausted and they can be attacked and defeated much more easily. similarly you know there is a war going on within us and we want to protect our consciousness from the many temptations and distractions that the world shows us so how do we protect ourselves you know, one very powerful way is to make the fort of our consciousness situated on top of a hill so to raise our consciousness above the world what does this mean literally it means that we spiritualize our consciousness the world around us is material and if we too are in material consciousness then it will be very difficult for us to resist worldly pleasures because we will we will that because that will be our definition of pleasure and uh, when pleasure attempts us we will give in to it but if we raise our consciousness to the spiritual level that means we understand our own spirituality we are aware of our spirituality and thereby we practice our consciousness we practice purification then there will be there will be a lesser chance of delusion because we will be able to our consciousness will be high above the world the world's temptations will not so easily able to reach us so what does it mean practically to raise our consciousness it means that when we practice sadhana when we when we have regular spiritual practices that connect us internally with krishna then what happens by that internal connection we get a higher satisfaction so that higher satisfaction brings detachment so brahma bhuta prasannatma na shochati na kankshati samah sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labate param in 18.54 krishna says that brahma bhuta when we have raised our consciousness to the spiritual level prasannatma we become naturally joyful and then na sochati na kankshati the world attacks us in two broad ways temptation and tribulation enjoy this there's so much pleasure that's temptation this is disastrous you just leave everything and fix this run for your life that's tribulation but when we are situated in our spiritual identity then we get a security and satisfaction that frees us from hankering and lamenting na shochati na kankshati so uh, when we do our daily spiritual practices we are fortifying our consciousness not just making a fort around our consciousness but actually raising our consciousness to the to the top of a hill where we'll be best protected so if we give first priority to raising our consciousness then we and we have to go into the world and we have to resist temptation it will become easier because temptation will get exhausted by the time it attacks us because temptation cannot tempt us as long as we have some other satisfaction which makes us you no know, feel no feel no need or craving for the temptation and that higher satisfaction comes when we raise our consciousness so if we give first priority to raising our consciousness through our diligent spiritual practices then resisting temptation will become much easier gravity will defend us in protecting our consciousness thank you hari krishna